Goff, uh, you know, it, 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 there's such a healing process involved here, basically because you showed the country, Reverend Al spoke to this earlier, that your faith and other faiths are basically in the forgiveness business. That's what faith is all about. And yet you are surrounded still by a residue of uh, battle flags that fly on private property in South Carolina. And it's not just South Carolina. It's throughout the South and throughout mm -hmm. other parts of the United States. So what lingering effect will there be, do you think, on what's happened in this one particular instance throughout the rest of the country? Well, I think it's a tremendous opportunity, not only for the state of South Carolina, but for this nation, uh, how we respond to things that are negative in our lives. I think that as we go forward together, we can achieve a number of things by moving in a positive direction. I think when we have public discourse, when we come into the arena of ideas, we must learn how to bring civility with us. It does not mean we will always agree, but we always can find a common ground that we can move forward on. Let me say this to your listening audience. Young people and older individuals are looking forward to the kind of leadership that will allow us to be our better selves and not to be so negative about our country and about each other. So I believe that we have the access to, to doing better. When we know better, we ought to do better. And we must take leadership, not only in the political arena, but also in our churches, in our mosques, in our synagogues, and in our neighborhoods. We must take back uh, that which we have been given by our parents. And then we have to stop bashing uh, those who are to protect us, law enforcement. Yes, we do have some issues that we must resolve, but we must also remind ourselves that we are still community. We are still created by one God. And when we do this, good things can happen. And I'm looking forward to the next chapter in the life of the state of South Carolina, which I'm a native of, and this country in which we live.